Hi, my name is Phil Craig and I'm the leader of the Referendum Party. And this is one of a series of four short videos uh, where we're going to examine uh, how people's lives will fundamentally improve through Cape Independence. And in this video, we're going to talk about economic prosperity. And one of the key things about Cape Independence is we'll put the Western Cape in charge of its own economic policy and then allow us to make decisions which will make people create more jobs in the Western Cape and create a more prosperous environment where people's circumstances materially improve. Now, how will it do that? One of the key issues uh, with the, one of the key problems, I should say, with South Africa currently and the South African national government is effectively this anti-business. They put obstacles in the way of business. And by putting obstacles in the way of business, it put obstacles in the way of creating jobs. And when people can't go and earn decent living, then they end up in poverty. They're reliant on the state uh, and ultimately they just become poorer. So uh, if we had uh, control of economic policy, what would change in the Western Cape? Well, most of the dominant parties uh, in the Western Cape favour a much less regulated, freer market system. And what this means is that businesses then are, are you know, ultimately, let's go and look at how jobs are created, I should say. So let's look at that first. Yeah. There is no magic thing. A government can't just create jobs. Jobs are a byproduct of economic activity. So if you want to create jobs, one in four people in the Western Cape are unemployed. So we desperately need to create jobs. Uh, then you need to create economic activity. And you do that by creating an environment where people can open factories, where people can open shops, where people can open businesses. And as those business prosper and grow and, su and succeed, then their need for labour increases. And suddenly we need people to work in those shops and factories and farms and in those businesses. And that is how jobs are created. And what we currently have is a situation where we know we have all sorts of restrictions. You know, if you start a business, then you must comply with this rule. You must have shareholders of this race. You must employ people of that race. Uh, you must pay a minimum wage of X, Y and Z. Uh, you must complete this form. And we create this environment which is so overly regulatory that ultimately people say, well, look, it's just not worth opening a business. Either they go elsewhere, they emigrate, they open their business elsewhere, they centre it in Mauritius, um, and they start, or they end up going into consulting or businesses that don't require labour and don't have all of these issues. And ultimately, the people who pay the price for that are the ordinary people of the Western Cape, uh, South Africa, of course, who are then denied economic opportunity. And in an independent Western Cape, we will create a much more freer uh, business environment which attracts people who want to come invest, who want to set up business, we'll make it easier for them. Uh, and by doing that, then naturally the byproduct of that is that we create jobs, people are employed, and because they're employed, they earn a decent wage. And from that wage now, suddenly uh, they are lifted out of poverty. And that is how we're going to improve uh, the lives of people in the Western Cape by increasing, by controlling our own economic policy. And we can only achieve that through Cape Independence. And now there is no way that the national government, who are absolutely terrible economic policy, are going to, to give that uh, control to the Western Cape government. We can only do that in Cape Independence. If you want to find out more about our party, www.referendumparty.org. Uh,